Okay, so hey guys, my name is Quinston, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what you need to do to make sure Timebolt has the right permissions on your Windows machine so that it can run. The first thing is you need to allow it through your firewall, and the second thing is you need to allow controlled access to folders. So let me walk uh, you through how to allow the app through the firewall on Windows. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out where Timebolt is installed on the machine. For that, we're going to press the start menu, type in Timebolt, and you'll see Timebolt come up as uh, the search result. Right click on this and click on open file location you're going to come to this page over here uh, this folder again time Vault shortcut is available over here you right click on this and click on open file location then you'll get to the actual folder where time Vault is installed so we're going to copy the path so i'm going to do Control c copy the path of where a time Vault is installed close this folder Next, we can open the firewall settings. So I'm gonna open the start menu, go to firewall on, and network protections. I'm gonna click on allow an app through firewall. I'm gonna change settings because you wanna change them. Add another, uh, allow another app. And then I'm gonna click on browse, go to where Timeboard is installed, it's already there. Click on exe, this uh, Timeboard exe, because that's what runs when you open Timeboard. Open it, that, that then you'll see this option over here, click on it and click on add. Now if you can see Timeboard in the list and you should turn on both these options and click on okay. So checkbox, 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 click on okay. So Timeboard is now added as an exception in the firewall. Next is control access to folders so this will be in ransomware protection so i'll just click ransomware protection it comes up uh, you might have this turned on and here you have to allow an app through controlled folder access once you come to this page you click add an allowed app and you can see browse all apps and then again the same thing you click on this uh, you put the path over here and go to timebolt.exe where you installed the timebolt application. Click on open and now timebolt is added as an exception. You click on browse all apps and you'll come to this page over here and then you should go into resources and ffmpeg.exe. You also, also have to allow this to run. Click on open and now ffmpeg and timebolt.exe have both been accepted. And now when you run timebolt, everything should just work fine. So I'm going to click on this, test it, it works. So these are the steps that you need to do to make sure uh, if you have a protected computer, how to make sure Timebolt can access every folder and get through the internet.